hello you are welcome how to solve this system of equation and we are finding the value of a plus b here then from here let's represent this a plus b as x let x be equals to a plus b and then label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2 then from equation 1 from equation 1 we have a square plus b square equals to 7 and we also have from an identity that a plus b or square is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab now when we take this plus 2ab to this side this will give us a plus b or square minus 2ab which is equals to a square plus b square so we can write instead of a square plus b square here we can simply write a plus b all square then minus 2ab then this is equal to 7 so we can write that and from here we have ab represented as x so we have x equals to a plus b. So we can, instead of writing a plus b here, we can say this is x square, then minus 2, ab equals to 7. Then take 7 here and take minus 2 ab there. So this will become x square minus 7 equals to 2 ab. Then we can divide both sides by 2 here. And then we divide this by 2, we divide this by 2, 2 cancel to here, and we have AB left here. So we say AB here is equal to x square minus 7 over 2. Let's label this as equation 3. And also from equation 2, we are given a to the power of 3, a raised to the power 3 plus b raised to the power 3 equals to 10 also from this identity when we have a plus b all raised to power 3 we can write this as a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 then plus 3ab into bracket a plus b and similarly here we can take what we have here that is 3ab into bracket a plus b here and we are going to be left with a cube plus b cube so instead of writing a cube plus b cube we can write a plus b all raised to the power 3 then minus 3 a b into bracket a plus b then this is equals to 10 then also we have a plus b we represented as x as x cube minus 3 a b x then equals to 10 then let's take 10 here take minus 3 a b x there so we have x raised to power 3 then minus 10 x raised to power 3 minus 10 then equals to 3 a b x now divide both sides by 3 x here so that we have a b left here 3 x and divide by 3x 3 cancel 3x cancel x we are left with a b here then we can write a b equals to x cube minus 10 over 3x and from here let's divide this as equation 4 equation 3 and equation 4 we can equate that because we have a b a b equals to this and also a b is equals to this then when we equate equation 3 and 4 so when we equate this equation 3 and 4 from here we have x square minus 7 over 2 we then be equals to x cube minus 10 over 3x then we can cross multiply from here then 3x we multiply this we have 3x into bracket x square minus 7 and 2 we multiply this that's equals to 2 into bracket x 
keep minus 10. And when we expand from here, we have 3x times x squared, that will be 3x cubed, then minus 21x equals to here we have 2x cubed minus 20. Then let's take everything to the left hand side, and from here this becomes 3x cubed minus 2x cubed minus 21x, then plus 20. Then equals to zero here. From here, this remains x cube. Then minus twenty one x plus twenty equals to zero. This is a cubic equation, and uh, we can get one of the factor by inspection here. So when we put x equals to one from here, is x equals to one? Is one a root of this polynomial? Then when we put 1 for x, that's 1 raised to power 3 minus 21 times 1 plus 20. Is this equals to 0 from here? Then when we put it, this is 1. 1 raised to power 3 is 1. Then minus 1 times 21, that's still 21. Minus 21 plus 20. Is this giving us 0 from here? And we discover that 1 minus 21, that's minus 20. And minus 20 plus 20, that will be 0 here, equals to 0 there. So, now, x equals to 1. That this 1 is a root here. That means x minus 1 will be a factor. So, we know a factor to be x minus 1. In order to get the other factor from here, we can use syntactic division and uh, use 1 to divide this polynomial. So, we have 1. Then, divide by the coefficients of s k here. We have 1 here as the coefficient of s cube then the coefficient of s square no x square there that's zero and the coefficient of x that's minus 21 then we have constant there that's 20 then from here we use synthetic division and first we drop we drop this one we have one then one times one that's one then we have this 0 plus 1, that's 1. Then multiply again. 1 times 1, that gives us 1. Then we had again minus 21 plus 1, that's minus 20. Then we multiply again. 1 times minus 20, minus 20. Then 20 minus 20, that's 0. Now from here, what we have here, we now form the coefficient of the remaining quadratic equation. That is the first factor is x minus 1 then the quadratic factor here we mean will now be x square plus x that's the coefficient then minus 20 equals to 0 now from here we have two cases from here which the first one x minus 1 equals to 0 and the second x square plus x minus 20 equals to 0 from here already we know that x equals to 1 and uh, the, we represented x in the beginning as a plus b which is what we are finding that's a plus b equals to 1 so from here we have that also from here we can solve this and factorize and this will become x square plus 5x minus 4x minus 20 equals to zero so when we have this we have plus x when we multiply we have minus 20 and then factoring these two to here we have x common here left with x plus 5 then we have minus 4 common here left with x plus 5 as well then equals to zero so is it that we have x plus 5 because it's common here then we have x minus 4 then equals to zero so the two cases are x plus 5 equals to 0 or we have x minus 4 equals to 0. Here x is equals to minus 5 and uh, here x is equals to 4. Then we can conclude since x equals to a plus b then we say a plus b is also equals to minus 5 
and uh, from here a plus b is also equals to 4 so here we have this solution for a plus b in this our uh, problem thank you for watching please share this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos also turn the notification bell on give a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now